Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and I'm so excited to be starting my Me, Myself and I project. So if you're new here, the Me, Myself and I project is all about documenting yourself. I do have a prompt list, which I will link in the description box for you. I also have it linked on Instagram and Pinterest as well. So you can print this out and add it to your album if you like, or have it on hand while you're working on your project. Also this year, I got to collaborate again with Studio Calico to put together a fun kit to help you document yourself. And so in the kit, there was six by eight paper. I shared a full unboxing of that kit, by the way, and I will link it up at the eye for you. But also you got some embellishments and some stamp sets, and there was a lot of add-on stamp sets. So you can see here, I cut down my six by eight and I cut them into three by eights because the prompts are in three by eight sizes. And this is gonna be so easy to put together because once you slide in one of the prompts, the back side has the next prompt. And these are not in order. You don't have to do it in order, um, but you just have the prompts to help you kind of document yourself. So don't worry about the order of things. Uh, also, the prompts are the same as last year. I've been using them for the past like three years now. I think this is my fourth year doing me, myself and I, I'm not sure. I can't remember, but uh, I believe it's been four years. Uh, also, the three by fours are going to be fun to add them into the album just to break it down a little bit. And my stamps, I'm going to stick to my Me, Myself and I stamp that came in the kit. I'm also using the two, no, the three, hold on. There we go. The three add-on stamp sets. So the alpha, the number stamp, and this fun documenter stamp or journal stamp. Uh, that one's going to be fun as well. And some of the embellishments, I did also grab some page protectors, extras, just in case if I need them. And anyway, my album, which I did get from Studio Calico, also has page protectors as well. So there might be uh, things that I'm going to put in my page protectors, and sometimes I might have things outside of the page protector. I have not decided yet but we're gonna set this up together. I think I'm gonna work on my first two days, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure yet. Uh, it just depends on how long and lengthy this video turns out to be, but I'm really excited for this, and I'm excited to show you how easy it is to put together using your kit. Also, I wanted to mention this before I forget. So if you aren't able to grab the kit, the physical kit, there is a digital kit, uh, so they are offering the digital kit. You get the stamp set, the embellishments, the paper, all of that in the digital kit. I grabbed the digital kit as well because I really, really like how these turned out. And you can change the sizing and things like that. So that's going to be fun, especially if I don't do another kit next year. This would be fun to kind of use over and over again. Anyways, let's get to it. Like I said, I'm going to start setting up my project and probably work on the first two days. I'm going to set you on fast forward and voiceover to make this faster and easier. And uh, let's start creating. Okay, let's go ahead and set up my album. I'm going to start with my title page. And because it's already done for me, it takes me seconds to just add a little chipboard right above the title slide it into my page protector and be done. The opposite side has the year, which is perfect. I don't have to do it myself. And now I can just work on my prompt list page. So I do want to add the prompt list to my page protector. So I printed it as a three by four. And the bottom portion, I'm just going through my three by four cards that came in the kit to add a little three by four in that pocket. I really like this one that says my life in a nutshell. I just wanna add a little something to that card. So I end up using the chipboard sheet again and I add right now, it adds a little color. It took me a few seconds and I was done. This is why I love this kit. You're gonna see how fast my layouts come together just by using the kit. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and flip over my page protector to start with my first prompt, which is me. And as you can see, the card says just some random stuff about me. I'm gonna fill in that three by eight page protector. And for the opposite page, I'm gonna use a photo of myself 
And I'm also going to add a three by four card for journaling. But before I do that, I want to add how old I'm turning in January because this is my birthday month. And I just went for the large numbers that came in the kit. And I'm going to use an acetate sheet to add my numbers on because they're big numbers. They're not going to fit in a three by four. And they're just going to take up that space where I need to add my journaling. So I went with an acetate sheet. I'm going to staple down my numbers. I always find it easier to staple down vellum to acetate than trying to stick it down with double-sided tape. It just doesn't work for me. And then you can see the double-sided tape and it doesn't look that great. So I just basically use my tiny attacher and staple them to the acetates. It's just easier and it looks better on the opposite side. So when I was putting everything together, I felt like the 47 just kind of looked bland. I decided to go through my chipboard and I found one that said, let's turn the page. It fit really well with the prompt. So I'm just going to end up adding it to my number four. It just adds some texture to my numbers. Anyways, let's move on to my journaling card. So I went through the cards. I'm going with something very mellow. I think it was just dotted pink. Just didn't want a busy pattern because I wanted to add journaling to that card. But I also want to use my arches. I've been asked what I'm going to be using these arches for. So some layouts, I use them to add the number, the prompt number, and some I use to add journaling. So you can use them in all kinds of different ways. But for this layout, I'm going to use it to add my prompt number. And I knew right away that I was going to use it horizontally, not vertically. And so I stamped the number at the tip of the arch, put it aside because I'm not sure where I want to add it yet, <laughs> but I am sure that I want to use my me, myself, and I stamp to stamp one of the ladies. And I'm going to also stamp the speech bubble as well. So the speech bubble, I'm going to do a tone on tone. I'm going to start with a light pink to stamp the speech bubble. And then I'm going to go with a darker pink to stamp It's All About Me. And it just fills in that corner really nicely. And I have plenty of space to add my journaling, which by the way, I will end up typing out and printing later on in the video. And you'll see it at the end of the video. I'm just going to end up doing all of it all at once because I was kind of on a roll and I didn't want to stop and type out my, my journaling. Anyways, I'm going to color in my little lady here. And then I'm going to use that number arch to add to my photo. I felt like it fit better there. It will fall off the page, which is perfect. And it brought in that pink to my photo. So I'm almost done with prompt number one. All I need to do now is just trim off my little arch. I will grab my tiny attacher and staple it down. I will also go through my puffy stickers and add a little puffy heart uh, just to add some texture to my photo. And then I call prompt number one done. We can start working on prompt number two. And like I said earlier, we try to make this uh, project as easy as possible for you. And basically all you have to do is just flip over your prompt and you'll have the next prompt available for you. So you don't have to overthink it. So prompt number two was favorite food. And I decided to print two photos to fit into my card. I want to keep in mind that I have to document 31 prompts in this album. So the less pocket pages I add, the better. And so if I can fit in my photos with my journaling on my prompt card, I'm gonna go for it. So I went ahead, printed the two photos, and now I want to stamp my number on one of the arches. So I thought I would use the arch to add my number and journaling, maybe create a little pocket behind my photo. You're going to see I'm going to change my mind really quickly about this because I remembered this is going to sit in a pocket and it's going to be really hard for me to pull out the little card from behind the photo. So what I decide to do is to just leave it right now and then decide where I'm going to add my journaling. While I think that over, I did want to add some color to my spread. So to add color to my spread, I'm going to use my journaling stamp. This was one of the add-on stamp sets when the me, myself, and I kit released. I'm going to stamp two of the brush strokes, or I'm going to stamp one of the brush strokes twice, uh, one underneath each photo. 
and I decided that I'm going to use the bottom one for my journaling and then the top one is just going to be like a subtitle. And because I'm not going to use the little arch for my journaling anymore, because again, it's going to be way too hard to pull out once this is in a page protector, I'm just going to trim off that top portion and add it right above my photo. For my subtitle, I'm just gonna go through my food stamps and I'm just gonna stamp food is my love language. And by the way, um, the pictures that I added are of my favorite food and it's always my mom's cooking. So she does the best stuffed squash and grape leaves and the best stuffed cabbage leaves. I love, love this. And when she cooks it, she always gives me a call. But anyways, I also want to stamp eating, uh, like right underneath my photo, but I've shared this before. The list on my journaling stamp, it's all connected, but I just want eating. So I'm gonna trim it off and I'm gonna actually trim all of them at some point because it's better in my head, it's they're better off separated and you can use them throughout your album uh, than them all connected, if that makes sense. So I stamped eating and I'll end up adding my journaling later and I'm going to add some color to my title. I just matched my marker to my arch and then I call prompt number two done and we can move on to prompt number three. So for prompt number three, I'm going through my cars and I'm trying to find the prompt that says some of my greatest fears. I will be documenting my greatest fear and one of them is losing my parents. So I printed this lovely photo of my parents. I love them so much. And this is something as your parents age, you always worry about. So I'm going to use this beautiful blue arch. It's just tone on tone blue. I love it. It's kind of like a grayish blue. And I'm gonna use that to stamp my number and to add my journaling. And once I added my arch and my photo, I had the space on the bottom. And you'll see in a little bit, I'm just gonna go through my stamps and add something there to fill in that space and kind of make this a card cute and unique. I went back to my number stamp and I'm gonna stamp three. And then I'm gonna decide on using this Valentine stamp set. I believe it's from Studio Calico. It had, I love you more than, and then there was like um, a blank space for you to fill in. So I'm gonna fill it in with, you know. So it's gonna say, I love you more than you know. I went through my alpha stamps and chose something small that would fit. I'm gonna use this beautiful old Kelly Perky alpha to stamp out, you know and it fills that space really nicely. But I don't stop there. I wanna bring in some texture. I wanna bring in some color. So I'm actually gonna use my puffy stickers to add like a cluster of hearts and I'm gonna match them to my arch and I'm gonna bring in a pop of color through my photo as well. And I just love this card so, so much. And again, I'm gonna color in my title as well. I'm just basically gonna highlight it and call prompt number three done. I love how the prompts are coming together so quickly. I did not expect to be working on a bunch of prompts in this video. I just thought I would do prompt number one and two, but because they're coming together so quickly, I was able to get to even prompt number four. So once I flipped over prompt number three, I had my morning ritual prompt. So I'm gonna go for it. This one, I'm gonna be adding an extra page protector. I did want to use my three by four cards as well. So I printed my photo in a three by four. I went through my cards and I grabbed that good morning card and I'm using the orange arch to stamp out my number. And I will also use this Everyday Explorer stamp to stamp this is what my morning looks like around here. Just felt like it fit perfectly and the orange matched my card as well, my three by four card. And then I'm just gonna stick down my arch at the bottom and I'm gonna use that whole space for my journaling because my morning routine is pretty long so I need that space for journaling. <laughs> And 
And just to add a little something to my photo, I went through my older chipboards and I found this one that says work in progress. I'm gonna add it in the corner and call prompt number four done. So easy, so simple. And honestly, my whole goal with this kit was to keep it simple and easy to create. And I'm so happy that it worked out. It's actually faster than I thought it would be. Now that I'm done, I'm just going to add all the pages in the pockets, grab my album and add them in the album. And then I'm going to type out my journaling, print my journaling, come back to my album and add all the journaling to my cards. So I felt like this is a better process for me to just create the layout and then come back later and add the journaling. And once I add the journaling, it looks so good. It looks complete. I love it. Now, actually for this one, for prompt number one, you'll see I added my journaling way at the top and I had this really weird gap right underneath the journaling. So I go for it and I start peeling off my journaling and it actually peeled off pretty well. Um, I don't recommend this because this matte sticker paper, once you stick it down, it's stuck down and it's really hard to get off, but it worked. And now I can actually stamp something above above my journaling. Like I just didn't like the gap underneath it. So I actually go back into my stash and I just grab a little stamp and I stamp something right above my journaling and I call that first prompt done. I'm gonna flip over to prompt number two. My journaling from prompt number two is not long or big. I'm just uh, adding what my favorite foods are. So I'm just basically gonna add it to my brush stroke. And then we flip over to the next one where my journaling is gonna sit in the arch. By the way, I do measure all of it. So once I'm done creating the layout, I'm just measuring where my journaling is gonna go and I make sure that it fits into the arch or whatever the space is. Flip over prompt number three to prompt number four. And now I'm going to fill in that whole space with my journaling and it fit nicely. And now I can call my layouts done. And I can't wait to come back and share with you more of my Me, Myself and I project. And if you are working in your own Me, Myself and I project, don't forget to tag me on Instagram and use the hashtag Me, Myself and I or me, myself, and I 2024. I would love to see your projects and how you're using your kits. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.